Hey, what's up guys? Ruben Arce here with another video for the Cinematography Lab. And today I'm going to talk about how I dyed the leather of a Bolex H16 to make it look like brand new. First, this is not a tutorial, and I'm not saying you should do this with your camera. If you decide to do it, you are doing it at your own risk. I talked in a previous video about the modifications and accessories that I made for a Bolex H16, and at the end of the video, the camera was looking great. However, it had some imperfections that I thought I could improve. Some time ago, I made some hand straps from scratch for another camera using leather. I learned a few things about the topic, and I had the materials that I used for that previous project. So I thought, why not dye the leather of this camera that has a few imperfections from time and marks of tape that people used before to seal the gaps of the film, of the film chamber, and imperfections here and there. I started by cleaning the leather with a rag and an old toothbrush to remove dust, then I used rubbing alcohol to remove grease and dirt. The camera is around 65 years old and it has been collecting stuff for all those years that needed to be cleaned. Finally, I used some vinegar, just because I use vinegar to disinfect everything, and because I noticed some sort of fungus on a part of the camera, and remember that vinegar can kill that kind of stuff. I removed the strap that goes on top of the camera and the winding lever to have more control, and I was ready to start dyeing the leather. There are a lot of details and decorations on the camera, and I did not have a fine brush to do the job carefully, and I certainly didn't want to tape around those parts. I knew that the dye doesn't stick to metal parts quickly, so I decided just to use a dauber to apply the colorant, and then remove the excess from those metallic parts quickly. You must be careful, because the colorant can certainly darken the metallic parts of the camera if it stays there long enough. The dye I used is Thieving's USMC Black, which is darker than the regular black dye from the same brand. I carefully applied the dye all over the leather parts of the camera, cleaning the excess with a rag, rubbing alcohol and cotton swabs. I let the dye dry for about an hour, and then I applied Thieving's Resoline, which is a sealer that will protect the leather, the color, and will prevent dye bleeding. As soon as you apply Resoline, the look of the dye changes to a deeper, solid black that looks very nice. At that point, you just must let the product dry for a couple of hours, and you're set. Rubbing alcohol helps to remove excess dye on the metallic parts. However, you have to be careful because it will remove it from other parts as well. In the end, I decided to dye the strap too, which turned out very nice and the camera looks great. A part of the leather or leatherette, I'm not sure yet what it is, needed to be re-glued, so I used E6000 adhesive that I had at home. In the end, I was happy with the results, the camera looks great, the color is solid, and I don't have to see the parts that used to look old and not nice. This is my friend's camera, and as I said in the previous video, he asked me to send the camera to BCLA, which stands for clean, lubricated, and adjusted, and I'm thinking I'm going to shoot something with the camera as soon as I get it back. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the Cinematography Lab.